Good morning, campers. Welcome back to the Cut the Camera podcast. It's your favorite host, Nick Sterniolo. It's the second episode of the year. I even I feel like I haven't filmed the podcast episode in a year. Matt's here. Hello, everyone. Good hey, evening. Matt. You look good in your retro sweater today. Retro? Thank you. Yeah, that's very vintage, I think. It looks it. Okay. Where'd What's... you get it? New? Brand new? Did you buy it brand new? Shh. He got that vintage. I know he did. V- brand new. No vintage. way vintage. you vintaged that. Matt, did. brand new or vintage? Give us a B or Just a V. Tell us what it is. We don't even know where it's from. Is it a I V don't know. for brand new or V for vintage? Is Give it us a B or V? I don't know. I'll tell you B one thing. V. I wasn't the first person to wear it. Definitely not brand new then. So vintage. Sure. Exactly what the what fuck are you saying? I don't Matt. think it's like vintage, but like I think like... Okay, whatever. Like... Uh, like, well, okay, I don't know. hold on. I didn't know you were the vintage Wait, police. Are we on I'm for? not the vintage police. Why'd we hold on? No, nothing. We're not holding on. I was just holding on like for a split second to like check something. Okay. Go. Then let's go into it. Let's jump into it, Nick. Introduce our general topic. All right. Yeah, Wait, I didn't introduce myself. I'm Chris, guys, and I'm here today. You did. Or did I? No, I didn't. I never said I'm Chris. I think you did, but go I'm ahead. Chris, and I'm ready to film an episode. I got a cookie, and I got a... Oh, what? <laughs> And I got a bottle of water, and I'm ready to enjoy <laughs> the podcast and have fun and film. Very nice. Nick. Let's do it. Okay, today we're putting on our entrepreneurial hats. If you don't Yay. know what an entrepreneur is, an entrepreneur is a business person. Someone that is... I actually don't know if that's true. I don't know the definition of entrepreneur. You're right. But... Yeah, you're right. Similar to Shark Tank, when people go and they describe their inventions or their thoughts on like how to make things easier in this complicated world mm. we're going to be doing the exact same thing right so we have and some... we're going to be going over existing shark tank pitches i think go ahead nick thanks um so basically how it's going to work is we've all collectively before this podcast has started thought of some ideas of like what would be a good business and we're going to take turns pitching them and then the other two people are the sharks if you get two votes you get uh. a win if you get two no's you get no's so on, so forth. Okay. Who wants to start us off? Because I have four. Wait, that's I, not the start. I made a... Uh, that's not the I, start. I made oh, Matt, Matt. Shh. No oopsie talk. You're not too... Wah, wah. You poop yourself. I made... I made a mistake. What? What'd you make a mistake? The two about? things that I thought of were just like things that I think would be cool. They're not businesses. That's okay. That's fine. Oh, okay. All four of mine are. Well, let's let... Like, that's for the end to do it on That's for the end? Yes. For well, the that's what I'm Have you ever watched for. Shark Tank? Absolutely. Yeah. Matt? I don't think I've sat there and like put it on myself, but there's my it's eyes, just one of those shows that are always on. My no eyes have been go. watching a couple episodes before for sure. Yeah, drinks water, puts water down. Do you have a um? Do you have a favorite like shark? No. Nick, do you? Laurie, really? Yep. She's just so like boss, girl boss. I agree. I like she Mark. really is. She's girl boss. I like Mark Cuban. He's cool. Mm. He's been going on podcasts left and right. Why isn't he here? He should be doing the Shark Tank episode with the Star Hill triplets on the Cut the Camera pod. Anyways, Chris, the go. What is Shark Tank? Shark Tank is a TV show where aspiring artists. Chris, you're repeating me and then pitch businesses. You're repeating me, and I can't wait for you to get to the next bullet point, which is literally what I was trying to segue to that you said was at the end of the episode. Okay, fine. Whatever. We can do it. Are you ready? No, you're just trying to follow this brief guide that we made, right? And you're telling me the next idea on this piece of paper is the last part of this episode. And that's why I'm confused. Do you ever get annoyed of hearing your own voice? I love my own voice, especially when I'm correct. Really? Yeah, I'm sharing a f- correct fact with okay, you. Okay, cool. Um, pitch number one. Matt, it says you have to pitch it to me and Nick. Do you want to do it or should I? These what, are like... What, these are, are ta- what are you talking what? about? It's not... We're not supposed to do our own, Nick. We're supposed to do some that are on from actual Shark Tank and then we come up with our own. Why don't we do our own first? Coming up with our own is at the end. All right, that's more fun. Something, it's like a dude. little game. Shut up. Just do something and shut your fucking mouth. Like, I'm, like, blown away by the level of which you're speaking. This is so unorganized. Nick, then you talk. I was. Go ahead. You're segueing me to something that makes no go sense. Ahead. Like, what are we talking yeah, this is about? Great, Chris. Go ahead. This is a go. podcast. We have hey, no Nick, clue what we're talking about. Go ahead. Nick, go ahead. Go ahead and talk. Let's pitch our own business ideas, or do you want to read the ones on this? That's what we need to read do. the ones on it, and then we pick. Okay, our own, like I'll read you guys. You guys the first are one. We're gonna run. Out, we're gonna be done in the podcast in fifteen minutes if we all just did our own. You guys are unbelievable. It'd literally be over. Like he wants to film like a fucking ten minute podcast. Like what a brick. A 
brick. Yeah, I'm a brick. Yeah, you're a brick. Use your head. Yeah, you're cement, motherfucker. You're concrete. French fry bar made to order hand cut gourmet fries. Oversized baseball hats and funny accessories like the Nick, giant- you're reading too many. You're supposed to pitch one. This is one. Oh. What? No, it's not. It's three different ones. You're not <laughs> pitching your idea right. Oh my god. You guys god. are stupid. Oh my god, Chris, I can't handle being in the room with you. Survival backpack. This one's funny. Everything you could ever need in a backpack to survive for 72 hours. Mm. I feel like 72 hours isn't a long time to need to be like surviving. What do you think? What are you talking about? Like if I'm like like what's I, the like, sur- sur- like no, it says like oh, it's a survival backpack. Everything you'd need so you could survive for 72 okay, you're hours. You're outside stranded. For me it's like I feel like I could easily survive 72 hours. It's like it, it, I would need a survival pack of like 2 weeks. For okay, it to be beneficial you, for me. What would you need? You're dropped off in the woods. 72 hours later, someone's kind of pick you up. You have your survival backpack. What's inside? Take me through it. Um, First things first, matches or a lighter. Okay, yeah. Matches is sick. I prefer a lighter because matches, if you get it wet, then it doesn't work anymore. That's always happens in those survival shows. Someone will lay down on the matches. They and usually like, don't have matches. In no, but if they get them, if they get them, then they get too wet and then they can't strike the match. That always you have to happens. keep it dry. You have what to find a dry happen? place to keep your matches. Um, that's a real thing. Yeah, that's saying. nice. Um, I think hmm, water. Water. Definitely yeah, a lot definitely of water. water. Actually, I don't want water in my backpack because it's too heavy and too much labor to carry it. I want a filter straw that I can... St- Sip straight from a stream like this, and where, then you can filter. Where are you surviving? The we he said outside, right? Yeah, the woods. Okay. Yeah. So I'd find Just a pond it. or like a stream, and even if it's like super infested, it's fine. I have a filter straw. Yeah, that's so what wait, I would do. Your invention could be the filter straw. It already exists and was pitched on Shark Tank years ago, and that's where I'm thinking of it. Wow. Yes, it's a straw that basically you suck from it, and literally the dirty water, the dirty water from the bottom of the straw literally instantly changes to clean water by the top of the straw it's literally, literally i don't magic. fucking believe that it is either. no you're it literally germs. shows it it literally shows it you're getting, it. You're getting it germs you're getting it, germs it, it has to like go through a filter process like up the straw and then okay. it changes right then and there mm. i'd bring ramen ramen noodles top cup but top ramen to, well you have top to heat ramen. it up you have to yeah. heat it up though <laughs> you, it up, oh a little ramen. stove a no. little oven nope no nope. Nope. oh you have your fire a pot, fire and water. A pot, yes, a pot. You I feel a pot. like a blankie. A blankie, a yeah. blankie's good, and a pillow. No, I don't. I can do without the pillow. If I when really I was younger, I was blankie. huge on like survival kits. Like, yeah, I like, would just like, like we'd be in our living room and Chris would have like a rope. I'm like, chill out. <laughs> what do you got a rope for? You're like, a kid. He'd like Chris would like tie knots. You're literally a fucking kid. You don't Nothing need a rope. Nothing we used to tie each other to chairs. That yeah, was we talked about this Have we talked about that on pod? For sure. Yeah. Oh my god. We used to we used to like a other games. with like duct tape and rope to chairs. And zip ties. And be like, get out. It's survival of the fittest. Like we used to watch yeah. like criminal minds. And no, like, we used to watch like I remember going to my first escape room when I was like eight years old. And then stop doing that. Yeah, don't do and that. And then just seeking the thrill of escaping, like, forever. Like, that's, that's why they that's, Yeah, that's why they're there. That's an escape room. I know, I but it's just like, no, I, really gotcha. Oh, my God, I just loved it. Like, just, uh, I felt so James Bond. And, like, I don't know, something about, like, I always was, like, good on, um, I liked gadgets and, like, like police yeah. gadgets and gizmos and what's it like no the door thing i always say yep. like the little beeper in the door when it like someone passes the Motion door frame detector. it beeps oh you're um, unbelievable with that thing like in Fortnite, like when like the npcs are gonna get you because like the camera sees you and you're trying to kill the boss <gasps> no um what's it called like a pulley thing like i used to love like if you were on the second a carabiner you could like pull up like like goodies no yeah chris has a bucket and rope in his room back i home. used to Used to. Used to. Don't anymore. Chris has a bucket and rope to throw out his window so that he can, like, reel in snacks that we put in the bucket from the kitchen. Yeah, like, me and Matt will be in the kitchen. He'll be like, oh, put stuff in my bucket. And then he'll pull his bucket through the window of the home. Like, are we... It's so easy and efficient. And then I get snacks elevated right to my hand. Mm-hmm. It's just fat is what it is. Get yeah. up and go downstairs. Whatever. I know people are going to be like, they're so tired in this podcast. True. Just an FYI. Yeah, this is how we are tired. Yeah. 
Yep, you got me. You caught me. I'm tired. <gasps> me, Matt, and Nick, me, Matt, and Nick woke up super early this morning at like 10 or 8 in the morning. Yeah. Which is very early Busy for us. all day. Just got home. Super late. I have to edit a car video after this. Yeah, but we already had a podcast scheduled, so we're filming it regardless. I just, I, I know that people are going to comment that we're tired because oh, I can literally, tired. I can they're see they're it in exhausted. your eyes. Like, you're like, you got the black eyes. You got the, <laughs> we should talk like this. The you got the time. sleepy eyes. But yeah, I'm just telling people. I'm a little sleepy. Like a disclaimer, yeah. we are actually. I like sleepy. being sleepy and filming though. Like Me it's too. like, what am I gonna say? I'm I get edge. yeah. I can fall asleep at any minute. No. Ah. <laughs> <laughs> All right, I'm moving on. Okay. okay. I can't hear anything out of these. I just had them on. Okay. <laughs> Oversized so baseball hats and fun accessories like a giant foam finger to wear at sp <clears throat> sporting events to rep your favorite team. I hate it. I uh, hate I them. I think it's extra. We don't need it. I saw. I actually. I would never I invest TikTok. in a company like that. I saw TikTok Zero and this girl. She was like, "This girl posted a TikTok and she's like, I spent X amount of money to go to a Drake show, and like there was a girl in front of her holding a sign, and they were like in the nosebleeds. Yeah, ain't no way he's seeing the sign, and she like ripped it out of the Good. girl's hands. Good. And, like, Threw it away. That shit made me laugh. If you hold no, if a you're sign, a sign and the artist isn't looking in your direction, put the sign down. There's just don't bring a sign. My opinion. I just think like this. No, I think signs can be fun if they're like, if they're not gigantic. And if the artist is looking at you, you can like hold it up so they can possibly read it. I just, but it's also like, what is an artist going to do? I just think, do? I think there should be a sign section. Like if you have a sign, everyone go there and go to hold them up. So that way you're not interfering with anyone else's experience. I think front row signage is insane. Leave the, no, nah, it depends. If you're going to hold a sign, go to the back. Just saying. Yeah. Like, go to the back. The back of a pit. Would be you a need to be in like an optimal viewing area. I agree. Because yeah. I remember like making a sign when I was like eight. Then I stopped to go see who, the Celtics. Oh brother! I remember that. Nobody brings <laughs> signs to the Celtics. Yes, they do. Yeah, they do. Most to kids to this day. To this that definitely. Nick, are you serious? People go and uh, hoot and holler for their events and, team. and concerts. I just think like big obstructions. You also painted yourself green. So I just <laughs> that, <laughs> that was it. That was crazy. Oh, 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 oh. I mean, if you're going to bring a sign, block your own view, though. Like, if I'm bringing a sign, I'm holding it like this. I'm not going to hold it way above my head like Matt, this. Matt, that was funny. Sorry. I literally look like an alien at the Celtics team. Literally. Yeah. <laughs> I came from my planet to root for you. <laughs> <laughs> holding a sign. You we were literally getting ready to watch the Celtics game, and I was just the... You're I like, was just like I very... I was just in the bathroom going... I was a very <laughs> ambitious Celtics just, fan, so I painted my entire body. The body paint is the scariest my, thing. <laughs> <gasps> I remember, like... <laughs> I remember going to, like, Target. Uh oh, we got the Gigglies. Got Target the used to have, like... I, I don't get why on the the cover of every face painting kit for Halloween has like a vampire on it. It's like vampires don't need face paint. I want to see some little fucker look like Frankenstein. <laughs> <laughs> like what? Why are we advertising face paint? And it's like Frankenstein. Just and the person just has blacked out eyes and like fangs with like a little dribble <laughs> of blood. Like no, where's Frankenstein? Where's a, the big green motherfucker? <laughs> What's up with bolts and screws in his head? Where's yeah. the unicorn, the monarch butterfly all the way across? <laughs> what? Why are we going with like, it'll be like someone with like a sparkle or like a twinkle on their cheek. You want like, to see no, the that's like we're advertising face paint. I don't want to see skin. <laughs> yeah, do something crazy. I want to see you look completely different. Oh my God, that was so funny. Do you know <laughs> what I mean? You know, Frankenstein. Every single time I see one of those, it's fucking a vampire. No, literally. Or like something <laughs> stupid. Yeah. Or something super unrealistic. Yeah. Like, I feel like it's either a Frankenstein or no, it's either like something small. It's like a something skull insane. and bones with like a blacked out on the side. Yeah. And, and it's like super real and like super like yeah. fucking amazing. Or like a lizard and they get like every crevice. Yeah. Stuff, like, like you're actually insane. No one's doing that. Nobody. I just, no, I also don't understand. I think, like, I think that why they provide such goofy things that no, most people normal people aren't doing it like sports games is because people go and get drunk and then they're like oh and they like put the big goofy hats on and stuff yeah like all these people just get drunk as shit and then like support their team like it's womp, like womp. people who get in physical fights at sporting events so funny so funny i remember that happened when i was at a red sox game it's like go home fight. the game means nothing to you you're you're a grown adult supporting a team of men that do this for their job the little yeah. Creeps. Like getting in a physical altercation. It's like you're not their, uh, you're not their parent. Yeah. Doesn't matter. Shut up. Yeah. What? What's the next one? 
What about streakers? Imagine like running naked and just getting permanently banned from like a fucking. No. That's venue. crazy. Imagine getting no. permanently banned to ever go to like an NBA game again. My thing is like I obviously like I have no plans to go to an NBA game. <laughs> but if I was perma banned from the NBA indefinitely, be I'd be like, wow. Now I, I even if I wanted to, you can't. Yeah. I would hate that. Yeah. It it just make me want to go more. Yeah. Okay. Reading. Moving. Good. Business ideas. There's three more. Meggings. Men's leggings. High performance fashionable leggings with unique features. And I cool am a okay without that. I don't think we need just as a man. Meggings. First of all, not even looks. I don't like anything too tight and I restricting. Agree. You know. I agree. Like it's just something Especially you can't in that area. Correct. Something you can't wear casually would be leggings. As as a, that's man. like actually the total opposite of what I'd like to wear. These are like the skinniest pa- jeans that I own. The ones that I have on today. If I saw I'm a like man a little crazy in public in meggings, I'd be like. Go home and put some pants and on. put some shorts. Well, on if you're gonna wear meggings. meggings, you gotta at least wear shorts over a hundred. Well, it's like no one wants to see your junk, dude. <laughs> like, yeah, yeah like, like I feel like like we're all beating around the bush here. If you're gonna yeah. wear meggings, sort it out. You know, yeah. correct. Wear a long shirt or something. An electric knife that looks like a chainsaw designed to easily cut meat exists. No, no, not Definitely. like a chainsaw. Like it's like you want the okay, first chainsaw is a little extra. There. I think it's sick. It'd be cute. Like it'd be like, oh, the turkey chainsaw. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Not really practical for constant use, though. <laughs> no. no. I'm not going to buy a one-timer for Thanksgiving turkey chainsaw. That's yeah. something you... And like how often do you have to switch the blade? Like the yearly... Isn't it crazy? Cutting? A chainsaw, it constantly rotates all the way around. Like, that's the same blade constantly yep. rotating. Yep. Wow. It's like a bike chain, except, like, sharp. Yeah, but, like, edge. why Why is it constantly rotating and not just, like... I wish it would, like, viciously shift. That's what people do with like a tree. Like if someone wants to cut down a tree, they can put a they can wrap a chainsaw chain around it, and then you can go like this, and then just like slice through. I it. love that. Yeah, like that's you can do better. that. But yeah. also, like you're cutting a turkey, no one's gonna do that to a turkey. No, that's unrealistic because it, it's not like you can't really do that to a turkey. It doesn't hold enough mass. The tree would hold enough mass. You don't want to shred the turkey. It. Yeah. All right. Exactly. Edible cookie Four. dough comes in fun flavors with fun Ew. pop. I don't like you. I don't like the idea of that. I don't. Know. I hate the idea of edible I, cookie I, dough because it ruins like the fun of eating cookies. No, I, don't, I, I want that fifty fifty chance of like disease of salmonella. What? Like, when people get insane. When first people of get all. sick from cookie dough. Give me the salmonella. Absolutely insane. Yeah, really bizarre. Uh, I think that I want the, raw the, cookie dough. The thing that I don't like about it is the different flavors. I want it to taste like cookie. I don't want Correct. It taste, it's cookie dough. Yeah, there's a Great place, point. There's a place in the mall we went to. It was like mint chocolate chip cookie dough. It's like, no. No. Just no. where's chocolate chip cookie and dough? And toppings, it's like, no, no, no. What we do you need? I've that. never That's been cool. a cookie dough. The whole point of eating yeah. cookie dough is to not eat something uh, if, else. If you have to eat something raw, though, go with cookie dough. Motherfuckers that eat, like, brownie mix. Matt, oh. Matt was a huge, like, brownie mix eater when we were little. The bowl type hey, Ew. Maybe. Matt would lick the bowl clean. One what time I went to a friend's house I was we fucking in, 12. Like, eighth grade. Bro. Yeah, and your one green time ass to, walking into the kitchen. One time I went to a friend's house one time I went to a friend's house when we were in sixth grade. I know what you're gonna say here. I don't. And she purposely like wanted to make, she wanted to make brownies, brownies and she purposely undercooked them by like 15 minutes just so that they'd be like a little raw so she could eat brownie batter. Gross. That's crazy. You're gross. You're just sick. Cook them fully, you weird. Just get a spoon and eat it. Correct. Like what? Cake like, batter's the worst to eat raw. That's like not even enjoyable. Oh, it's just like sweet milk almost. Yeah, <laughs> yeah it's just gross. Like, oh, gross. It's just gross. How much to clear a bowl of of lot? I have a question batter. for you guys. Yeah, I just feel Do like you guys think painter. sprinkles have like a flavor? No. Like when I get sprinkles, it's because I like crunchiness. Yeah, they're on, for like, texture. That's what I think. People will be like, "Oh, I want like sprinkles. Oh, they're so sweet." And like, I love sprinkles. It's like. No, they're not sweet. That's not I the think. Point what's that thing called? Cream. Crunch at Dairy Queen. I Ma- think- Whenever we were growing up, mom oh. would go to Dairy Queen and get a cone with crunch. What's crunch? I, don't I know. love crunch. Whatever it was was so good. <laughs> I just with- don't know what it is. Like back- I always wanted to get it at Dairy Queen. Like, I, but I felt like an a hooligan going, oh, kind of a vanilla crunch. cone with crunch. Um, like what's the back legal to- term? Oh my god! <laughs> I'm just saying. Like I don't know what the legal term of like. What's crunch at Dairy Queen? Someone figure that out, please. Someone please, if you please, go to local Dairy please Queen. figure it out and let them know. Yes, like post that and tag me, please. I need to find out what crunch. Are is. you good now? Go ahead. 
I hate when it gets to that point where it's like it's like the awkward, it's like the awkward, it's like the awkward point where it's like okay, he said so much about the same thing. I should be good, but wait, there's more. But like, wait, it, there's more. It gets to the point where it's just nonsense. Guys, I'm like, wow. I, like I'm not tired. My eyes are like three thousand pounds. <laughs> no, it's because like, it's so bright in here, so all the lights make my eyes like. I okay, Nick. Like, what I was saying. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That's exactly how I feel. What I was saying about. When when you asked if we think sprinklers sprinklers, I <laughs> forgot the question. It was like a decade yeah, ago. <laughs> if sprinkles has flavor or not? I feel like if I had a thing of sprinkles and a thing of like sand, I could eat them both and feel the same flavor. What? That I completely it's just texture disagree to me. with, Matt. No, but what? sand is like disgusting. Mm. Matt was such a dirt kid. Like, he would just have something in his mouth, like dirt or like. like Here we go. Let's see how long it takes for him to finish this one. That's not true, really. Yes, Matt was the filthiest Literally one. Literally not us. true. Matt was the one who would have like chocolate ice cream all over his face. Okay, walk true. into the TD Garden green. <laughs> Matt, I mean, shut the fuck up. That. No, I painted myself green to sell this game once. Doesn't yeah, even matter. probably have... showed up to the school the next day with like green under your eyes. No, the, you what was awkward was mom had a friend home. No, my mom had a friend. Over. You turn the corner, she's like, ah! I, <laughs> <laughs> Who's what is that? <laughs> Who's fucking... like, I want you to sell this game. <laughs> I want you to sell this game with dad. <laughs> That's literally you. Like, Raphael's walking uh, into the kitchen. And it's like, <laughs> it's like okay. The Ninja Turtles jump. You skateboarded ride. into the kitchen. You think Michelangelo is coming right at you. Asking for pizza before he goes to the Celtics game. <laughs> Imagine mom didn't give the world like, oh, yeah, space paint on. She's like, who's this goblin that just ran into I wouldn't, the room? Dude, I'm sorry, but I don't think that I could do it if I was an adult. And like a little kid. And my kid too. wanted to paint himself green and go to the Celtics game. I'm no. sorry, but like, like I that's embarrassing. I let it happen. Embarrassing. Mom Fail. and dad should have said, you're not painting yourself green head to toe. Give it a, dude, give them the props. They, they let me though. It. You want to know what was worse? I had a green mohawk as well. Yeah. Oh Dude, my god, were I forgot. Green. I was green. Literally from, like, this was where my head was. It, from here to me my dirty. Feet. Literally fully green head to toe. Gross. Matt, you were a filthy, like, chocolate ice cream eater, though. Like, for sure. No, Nick. yeah, Matt would eat shit and have it on, like, his face for a bit. Yeah. <laughs> and then he would, like, laugh. As and, a kid. He would, like, laugh and smile, too. Like, he'd be like, Damn, yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, <laughs> <laughs> like, like, Matt, I want some ice cream. He's like, yeah, it's all gone. It's all mine. And you're like, Covered in it. Matt, like, to this day, covered in chocolate ice cream. Matt, to this day, actually serves himself way too much <laughs> ice cream. No, like, that's the one thing Matt will like, serve hey, himself will get ice in an alarming yesterday. serving amount. Yesterday, Matt was getting himself ice cream, and I was looking at him, and he, like, was, he looked like he was finishing up. So I grabbed the, the pint, and I'm pulling it toward me like this, and he grabs it and he yanks it back. I'm like, oh, you're not done? The other day, there's literally a half. I could say something that would there's end both half of a careers. carton left of, of ice cream left. Say it. There's hey, half a whole carton time. of ice cream. No, let me talk. There's half a carton of ice cream left. And Matt takes, he gives me a scoop and he goes, is this all you want? And I go, is this all we have left? And he goes, no. But he wants the rest. And he wanted the rest. I'm like, dude, we have a half of a container left. What sick. are you doing? What are you, you What are you going to say? Nothing. Don't worry about it. Say it, Matt. No, I've got nothing. Matt, you have to say it because you just said it could end our career. I'm not going to do it then. Idiot. What is he saying? Can you just say it? We can cut it out if we have to. Nope. Matt, well, I, you, we can't keep anything that we just said in if you don't say this and me and Chris let it stay in. We have to, like, work around What this. is your, what's your big ice There's cream? There's nothing. Thing? I'm just fucking with you guys. Okay, whatever. He, go eat some more ice cream. Um, I Just know. totally off topic thinking about it. RuPaul's Drag Race Season 16 announced coming out in January. By the time this podcast episode comes out, probably, like, a week Congratulations. Away. Chris, are, are you nice? excited for it? I'm so excited. Who's your favorite so far? Don or Mirage. Wait, you already know win. who's in it? Yeah, they posted, like, a trailer of, like, the 16 people. So you know all of them already? It's 14, yeah. Wow, that's kind of ruining it. No, it's just like their introduction. The show is so much more than that. Oh, that's okay. A little pre-trailer. A little get to know you. Yeah. That's so amazing to me that you or found like, a new show you really like. Nymphia. Dude, yeah. I don't know her name. About, she might Nick win. Nick was talking to somebody about RuPaul's Drag Race today. today. Sorry, I didn't. There. I was just... oh, literally, oh, right there. Go ahead. Um, And the amount of seasons he said he watched, I wasn't even a part of the conversation. I turned around and I said... 
you watch that many seasons? Yeah, he how loves much, it. No, yeah. how much TV does the average person I said, what watch you, a year? I said, what have you been How many seasons? Listen, how many movies and how many TV shows do you think a person watches per year? It depends. Not a lot, honestly. I don't watch shit anymore. How many seasons of television do you think the average person watches a year? Or not seasons. Six. Like, no seasons. Yes, yeah, seasons. Six. 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 That's 60 episodes. The average if person? Season, if each season is think about it, A show? A show? Like Nick, one season Nick, of a Nick, show? Nick. Nick. Right there. My phone? Yeah, grab that. Pick it up. Type in a couple buttons. You'll get your answer. Google it. Shocker. No, because what I'm th- what I'm saying is like when when there's a new show and like it's a trend and everyone's like, oh, go watch this show. Like everyone goes to, like watch it. Yeah. Like there's a. L- I feel like people watch at least, and I'm not exaggerating, like at least twenty five seasons of a show a year. It's not me. I I've just not like I've been going to the movies like in real life lately, and I haven't been watching shit on Netflix or watching new shows. And I only really watch it when Nick and Matt put it on. I haven't watched it in so long. Like I actually, it depends watched. on the person. There's some people that their average is probably like fifty. I can't watch something on my phone. Like it drives me nuts. Like I can't watch a show on my phone. Like that's it's, crazy. It's just annoying. Like I just put it on the TV. So that's I can just insane. like it's just so annoying to that's me to watch insane. something on my phone. Oh my god! What is the average amount of TV watching? TV watching has large. This is a stat from March thirty first, twenty twenty. Is it TV or is it like streaming services? TV watching. I don't know. During quarter four 2024, the U.S. adults spent 294 minutes per day with the TV. How many minutes are in a day? Six days an hour. The average person spends at least 15 like years crazy. of their life consuming television content. That's insane. Daily, two hours and 33 minutes. Um, yeah, that's absurd. So if you think about the that's daily- two episodes. Oh, like no, that was during three. COVID. That was during COVID. But, like, say the average person watches two hours of TV a day, and there's ten episodes per season of a show, and you can get through two episodes as an hour. So that means in five days... You Everyone's finish. watching a lot of TV. No, in five days, you could finish... Nick just crushed In like five days, if you watch two episodes... Grace, if you watch two episodes That's of crazy. TV a day, you could crush a ten-episode show in five days. That's insane. Like, obviously, though, like, it's not that hard to watch fucking TV. Yeah. Like, All right. So Matt was making next. fun of me because in January. I wasn't making fun of you. No, Matt was shocked because I watched a lot of TV because I started you. watching RuPaul's Drag Race in January. And it's a January again. So this year I've seen about 18 seasons of RuPaul's Drag Race. All right. Next topic. Go. Dating coach app. One-on-one dating coach app to help with texting, online dating, real-life dating tips, self-reflection, and confidence building. <laughs> Get a therapist. Grow up. Oh, Nick, don't Nick, say that's that. That's crazy, dude. It's talking about like help and stuff. <laughs> no, it's like a therapist like, would be more. You're, no, it's like a it's like a teacher for like Riz. Like a how dating to dating coach. Like we don't need dating coaches. Be yourself. That's, that's what I'm saying. That's my advice. Be yourself. You're exactly. your own dating. If you coach. need a coach to, if you need to be coached on anything, I don't know, bro. Nick, you sound like, horrible when you say shit like this. No, we don't. If doesn't. you need to be coached on anything, what I'm saying, literally, is, just die. No. That's you. What? That's you. <laughs> Who Matt, said that? Matt that's just, literally just swan. What I was that's going to Nick say. Talks. What yeah. I was going to say is like if when I think of being coached on something, I don't think of a mental health coach. I think of like a sports coach, and the reason they're they're coaching you is because you're Nick. You should have a dating coach. You have zero. Risk. If someone is coaching you, if someone's coaching you, right? Wait, guys, we should do a video. Oh, what? I need to explain myself because Matt just. Oh. What I'm saying is like if you if you need to be coached on something, it means you're like bad at it. But I feel like if someone coaching you the way they do it you might not be doing it for yourself is all i'm saying like why well, get a dating coach and learn from someone else you have to be yourself wah, wah, wah. Go ahead, <laughs> i saw a video and it was like this guy that does like our communication rating our riz and i thought it was hilarious he said that i have smooth guy riz or something and he said that you have shy boy riz or soft boy riz and he, nick he said you have charismatic riz i could have lived the rest of my life knowing Without knowing what type of riz I have, but thank you. Okay, Matt, you have zero riz, bro. Great. I'm glad I have no riz. Yeah, you should get a dating coach. Yeah, I should. And you have a million (laughs) riz. Thank you. Sleep pod blanket. Tightly wrapped up blanket designed to help you sleep better. Feels like a hug. Uh, You can do that with any blanket. Skip. Yeah. No. no, I don't like the idea of people be like, I've been Ooh, wrapping myself in bur- super blanket burrito since I was fucking three. Uh, feel like 
Dude, Shut up. Since I was a literal <laughs> since I was a literal infant rolling around in fucking dirt, piss, and mud, I could roll my Wait, into where were you growing up? In the pig pen? Don't like worry what about the it. fuck? Dirt, piss, and mud. What? All I'm saying is like you can roll yourself up into a No, blanket. all I'm all what I think is like anything like that's tightening, I, I'd just be too claustrophobic to fall asleep with like a tight thing on me. I would hate ha- preference. When you're hugging preference somebody, people. could you fall asleep? Yeah. I could not. No. A lot of people I that, think I could. You could fall asleep like snuggling with someone like you're weird. When I way. hug somebody, the my the I initial thought I in my could. head is how soon can I let go? Oh, you're that's sad. evil, Nick. That's sad. You're no, it's so not. It's evil. like I don't like a long hug is crazy. It's like how long are we doing this? You're so evil. Falling asleep in a hugging position is crazy. No, that I can get behind. I could never like lay down, like cuddle. That's lay what I'm down. Saying. I, can, like, I need to like. Be, you know, I like a hug. Like I like say, saying hi to somebody. Oh, bye, hug. Hi, hug. Oh, can I have a hug? I like hugs. You don't have a long like, embrace. When I'm hugging somebody, I'm not initially thinking. Oh, I'm so comfortable. I wish I could sleep and have this feeling of a. hug. I don't think that that's what this was. <laughs> oh. Feels like a hug. Yeah, but I don't think I don't think it's saying like, oh, do you ever just hug someone and want to go straight? To Not the like, investing. No. Next. <laughs> okay. <laughs> no, what they need to invent is an insulated blanket that's like a cooler. Installated. <gasps> insulated. Thank you. Shut up. Whatever. Please. Whatever you said, I agree. And it's like your blanket goes on you, and, and then just, that's that's just like, like my blanket. blanket. It's it cold. <laughs> no. Yeah. No. It's cold in there. What no. are you making a microwave you noise for? You're like. Who? <laughs> Not saying you get no, up. I want to be cool. Yeah, when I go to bed. Same. Like I wanted to just be like cool and chill. I'm a very like. Why did I say warm? What? No, no, not nothing. No, 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 nothing. I'm a very Shut like. Up. These are my four ideas. Wait, 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 Dude, wait, wait, on. wait. I'm a very like. I want the room to be freezing Antarctic cold, but I want my body to, to be, be toasty, toasty warm. warm. Like yeah. with like tons of. And you, like and if pillows. you get really hot, you just stick a little finger out there, a little footsie. It's crazy how much cooling down happens once you put one foot out of the blanket. It oh, is yeah. crazy. And same with a hat. The second you have a hat on, like a winter hat, you just instantly warm up. It's all about your feet. It's no, all about and your, your extremities. And your, head. your fingers, your nose, your ears, and your toes. And your head. Your fingers, your nose, your ears, your toes. Whoa, what the fuck are you doing? Go ahead. Okay, what's your... Every, now we're going to okay, pitch our... I'm now, gonna, let's go one at a time. I, I want to pitch my first. first. Now, now we're going to... Sorry, I should start. Now we're gonna pitch our own Shark Tank ideas, everybody. Okay, this and, is my... and then the other ones have to say who would invest, and then we have to negotiate for it. Okay, okay. Deal. A marker that constantly changes as you draw. So like you can buy a coloring book and you only use one marker, and you just go like this, and it like the things color the color they're supposed to be. It's like a reveal kind of. They have that. I think that's invented already. By who? Well, I just think that defeats the point. Like, why just scrape it? Like, why just cover it? Like, I think oh, part of coloring. I because think... instead of like being like a relaxing activity of like, oh, I'm going to color, it's like a revealing, shocking activity. I like it. I, I like actually it. do fuck with it. Like, like, like you just get one there. marker. You can't lose it. Fun tech. Oh no, you can't. Oh you wait, can't no, that is scary. Because if you it's one marker, it. it's like no, you, of... you get two for like per page, like like for your page of colors. Like okay, like like it'd be like it'd come in a two pack for sure. I feel like you gotta get like five. Five of the same things. Really yeah, you don't need five. Two pack right. is good. Same way you don't have five of those sweaters. <laughs> like, <laughs> it's true. <laughs> we got a board game of sorry here. Would you go buy three more just in case Four you lose these? Five. Four more would be five. I was just using an exaggerated number. <laughs> yeah, it's okay. Mm-hmm. I'm just saying. If we're, if we're five, rounding the five. Aware. Yeah, I'm just saying. Should I go next? Wait, or would you invest? Yeah, I said I. I'm not investing. I don't think it has any profit in the retail market. All right, goof. It's never, it's never getting in stores, and then the second you can compete, Matt just said it existed and that it was in stores. Yeah, but he's talking about like a scratch off. No, I'm not. Like I think Matt's talking about when you scratch the thing and it like changes rainbow. He's talking about exactly what I'm talking talking about. about, Exactly what Nick is talking. about. That's not a thing. It's a thing. Yeah. Okay. How much is that selling compared to a regular pack of markers? Let's debate. Not a lot. Well, Therefore, I'm not investing in your company. Kid, zero. Don't invest. We don't. Would you invest in his company? Yeah, sure. I'll invest. How much? A million dollars. Come on, Matt. You're losing profit severely. Million dollars. What? What is it? The golden don't... marker? Okay, That's Chris. Terrible. No, it's, no, it's it Matt's turn. You go. It can be an L. Go, Matt. Um. Okay. Here's mine. Some type of like. Okay. When you get a haircut in GTA and you can just scroll through and pick what haircut you want, I need that in real life. 
or I need something that's just like like someone who this is the haircut I'm getting every single time I get my haircut because I feel like every like time, someone who will Photoshop you into each haircut so you can be like this and then no, like whoosh. no like li- like literally like a fucking thing I could put on my head and it'll just cut the exact hairs off every single time because every single time I get a haircut it's a little bit different than the last one so you just want like a sh- a hair repeater. Yes. Yeah. A hair repeater. I li- I would in- if you customizable could- settings. Yeah. If you could invent this, like a thing, and you'd be like, if you could invent like this, two inches I off would the top, invest. Three inches off the side, and then you just go boop, and then it just goes. If you could invent this, I would for sure. Mm, sorry, my chair just made a big. It sounded like a level up. I want iCarly's closet where she's like boop 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 in her outfit. Oh, like, and it dispensed. rotated. Oh. That was so. I cool. do anything for all of my clothes being like a rotating hanger, and then instead of going through my closet and shifting through my clothes, having like a binder that's like an itinerary of everything I own, or, like an iPad, and like click the button like, and it like come out. But, like, yes. Like that. digitally like shop from my own closet. Yeah. That's cool. I like that idea a lot actually. Would you invest? I would invest a lot of money I would in that. I would invest. I would invest. I would invest in yours. Loaded. <laughs> Did you guys see the fucking video of the old lady with the penguin I sent you today? Yes. Yeah. Really sad. <sighs> oh my god. I'm glad she got to pet the penguin though. When she pet the penguin, she walked away. She... Oh my god, I'm getting chills. Anyway. Do you guys want to hear mine? Yeah. Okay. I have several more. So, so do I. I have one more. I have two more. I have three in total. Go. Okay, mine is, it's like a box that's like really large. Like, it's not like really large, but pretty decent size. Like, it's like, I want to say the size of this table. Mm-hmm. Right? And then you lay out your desired wrapping paper all over the table. And then whatever item you're gift wrapping for the person, you just like place it on the center of the table like that. And then it wraps it for you, like with the paper on the table. Too like, much excess. Like it's like zoom, and then it's too just, much excess. No, 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 no. It would it would know what you put down. So like you would wrap like you would unwrap like as much paper as you think <laughs> the estimated thing would be. And then, and then you put like say the wrap. No, no, no. I'm actually gonna walk you through it. You look say, like the good, say this you look is my like the good Nick, dinosaur. Say yeah. this is my wrapping paper roll right here, right? Look, mm-hmm. Nick, you have to watch. I unroll it to like here, and I put this water bottle there. If it thinks it needs more, then it just rolls itself more. And then after it's like, okay, guys, yeah. I'm gonna force myself to cry right now. No, <laughs> <laughs> Nick, don't do this. Don't do it. And then it's like, okay, it's good to cut. So then you cut the paper and then it goes zoom. And then it just kind of like like vacuum seals your gift. I like that. Perfectly. But I also think that part of Christmas is I'm going to force myself to cry. Okay, whatever. But I wouldn't you, invest. You wouldn't invest? Oh my God. Nick, would you invest in it's my It's not idea? my favorite idea. Okay, <laughs> what are you doing? You're freaking me out, Nick. I'm just tired because so I'm trying to keep my eyes open. And then after I was keeping my eyes open, I'm like, I'm going to just not blink <laughs> for the rest of the episode. You look scared. I'm just going to stay wide awake. You look really scared. Hey, guys. Okay, Nick, go. Okay, what's next? Can you please blink? blink. It's freaking me out. I feel like... That was loud and very obnoxious. Okay, so my, my next very idea is sure. rainbow popcorn kernels. That pop into different colors. Wait, as they go that's the really right cool. So like, you could also like, like you know when you go to the M M&M and M shop in like New York and they have like all the dispensers. Yes. Like you can go buy your own like flavored popcorn that are like specific colors. So like if it's Becky's Sweet Sixteen and her favorite color is pink, she can go to the pink can like all I like different it. shades of pink, get her pink popcorn, and then like flavor have like it. a popcorn maker. She could flavor it. She wanted to just be regular popcorn, but you dye the kernel so that people aren't aware of like gender reveals, like. Super major, yes. Like pink yep. or blue, like Halloween parties. Like we're gonna go get fun popcorn. I like and it's it. just like like f- customized c- kernels that you can mm. then pop into fun little. And then things. you can eventually branch off into like specific holidays, and you yeah. can do like kettle corn. For oh, the can I say what blows my mind? Go what? ahead. <laughs> In Disney, the popcorn is shaped like Mickey Mouse. That's insane. Disney How- has magic. Disney magic. Oh yeah, yeah. God, totally it's... forgot. Yeah. Okay, we can move on. Matt, would you invest in my? I, I'd invest. I would invest serious dollars, and I think that has potential in the market. For Just real. super fun. Like, I, why diet when it's already? If like it tastes pain. so similar to regular popcorn, I think you're outdoing the regular popcorn business. May I just say? One or else I'd like it's to. It's adding just Dude, some I am fun. I'm so to it. uncomfortable sitting down. I would spend a dollar more on yours than the standard popcorn just because it has magical That's colors. Some good, good thing there. Yep. I thought of that idea earlier. Completely unique and original. Wow, I love it. Yeah. Matt, your turn. All right, my last one. Okay. All right, so I don't know. It kind of exists, but it also kind of doesn't. Kid's a cheater. If it kind of exists, it exists. 
I want there to be a way like that I could make my handwriting better without using like stencils or like typing. Because like when I like am journaling or just jotting quick things down, my handwriting is not the best at all. Yeah. But like, Take your time. That's the invention. Slow down. Nick, stop being mean and let him get to the point. No, I'm not being mean. No matter how slow I am, I'm just not like the. I'm not as steady with my hand. I feel like it all has to do with pace. If you I really slow down, you could really get a good. No, I do find myself realizing if I really focus on writing, I can make it better. But I do hear your point. No, I don't. So let's hear the invention. Just something that will straighten up this hand. So you're not. You didn't invent anything. You're hoping for. That's invention. also your left yeah. hand, is it not? Yeah. You don't write with that, do I you? I don't. Okay. That's really I was gonna say that'll explain the. I was about to say, hold on, that was. No, I posted a. I posted a quote I wrote on Instagram, and my handwriting got flamed in the comments. So. Fuck them. Whatever. <laughs> I'd like to see what you wrote. Okay. Mine's ne- my next one is kind of strange. Yeah. Um, one of my biggest fears, and one thing I really <laughs> hate doing, <laughs> is getting my blood taken. <gasps> if ah! Yeah, <laughs> like I never ever, like if I ever go I'm to like the doctor, I'm tired, I can't hear right. No, if I ever go to the doctor or anything and I need that, like I'm, it just freaks me out because I don't like that activity. So basically my invention is, Nick, you're, you're going to like this one because it's like, it's like a fix you for just it. just cut yourself open. <laughs> no, Nick, what are you just saying? Just a blood back. Matt, <laughs> oh, stop. You guys are freaking me out. Stop. Okay, but my invention is sometimes I'll wake up in the morning or like before I go to bed and I'm like, (laughs) and I'm like, you want to know what? I'm really comfortable right now. If I like, if I, I I just thought of an idea. Listen, listen, listen. I'd be like, if I had to get my blood taken soon, like now would be the moment. Like I'm most confident. You know what I mean? Like sometimes I'm, I'm really scared of roller coasters, right? I would wake up one day and I'd be like, you know what? I would go on a roller coaster tonight. Like quick access. Like, yeah. Like, it's just a mo- It's just a feeling like you feel. Like a spur of the moment. Correct. So, like, if I had to get Fuck my it. blood taken. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. It would be like, it would just be like, oh, my God. Like, today's the day. I feel comfortable. Let's do it. And then it's just like right then and there. Like, it, you can. So, you want like a walk-in. Yeah. Like, I want it to be quick and easy, though. Like, I don't want the whole, like, procedure. Like, it just freaks me out to, like, really get that. Yeah. Done. I don't know how we're going to do that. But we're going to have to. Yeah. Something I'd something invest like in if you had like a solid. So the whole point of this, guys, is you're supposed to come with the invention, not what you want to happen. No, I think ah, it's okay. we can share our ideas, and then okay. someone, one of our viewers, can make their own invention and then bring it to somebody. What if one day we have? I would to hate to that. see the prototypes for my invention, though. <laughs> no, mm. Nick, go ahead. Mm. Or I can do my next one. What I thought want. of okay. when you said that yeah. was like, what if you like fall asleep on your arm and your arm goes numb and you have no feeling in it? So then, <laughs> no. like, oh, do it I, now. No. But then I thought there was like no blood in your arm. And that's Nick, why it's stop. numb. So it wouldn't stop. work. It wouldn't work. Me out. <laughs> it wouldn't work. All right. What's your next one? Okay. I hate the little like star feeling in your hand. Like it feels star? like star. Yeah, yeah, it feels like go stars. Nick. Go. Okay. Static. This is what I actually wrote down with this face. Okay. I said a tripwire or trap for people that don't tip at restaurants. I like, love that. Like, it it detects how much you pay. And if you don't pay enough of a tip at a restaurant and you're walking out, it's just like a booby trap of some sort. Like, I like think, a big I puncher, think like a net I, that like rips yes, into the I ceiling. think instead of like a booby trap, it should be more of like a humiliator. Like, like if you don't tip or anything, when you walk out, it blows like purple paint at you and you have to walk around the rest of the day purple. Because you're a failure. I like or, and everybody be like, oh, look at this guy. He doesn't tip his waiters. Yeah. And now he's perfect. Like my thought is if you don't, I always say, if you don't have enough money to tip your waiter, if don't that's go. your excuse, oh, I don't have enough money to tip them, do not go out to eat. There are cheaper options. Go to the grocery store. Okay. Bad tippers. It's like the, like service workers. They do so much. They don't have to deal with that shit. All right. It's like do you want to hear my in- last invention that I have? Mm. Let's hear it. Nick? Sure. Mine is an LED strip light that's like about not like that. It's like this big. Like it's just like kind of like a rectangular light. Okay. And it's for the service. It's for the um the food industry as well. This is for service workers. Basically, you put the sh- <laughs> the way you're just sitting here, like, like basically, you're really, you're really pitching it. Yeah, you? you're explaining yeah. it like you're gonna pull you're it out really of your pocket. Basically, it. say this is the light, right? You put it right here on the edge of your table, and then when you walk into the restaurant, everyone like knows. Oh, there's the like. It would be called the easy light. Okay, Came easy with light with a Z. And, yeah, easy. And then basically, you would go in and you would sit down at the restaurant, and then 
you'd have your menu of the food at the restaurant, right? Mm -hmm. And then next to your menu, the dessert menu they have. Like, do you know how they have different types of menus? You're losing me. Do you know how they have different types of menus at the restaurant? Uh So mine would be the menu, the dessert menu, the drink menu, whatever. And then there would also be a light code. A key. A key. And then it would be like, ready to order, turn your light green. Refills, purple. Ready to leave, blue. Bring Check, please, chat. red. And then basically, it's like you tap your light, and then it just changes color. So say it was like green is ready to order. You put it on green. Or like D, we're chilling. Don't really need our waiter right now. Like, please leave us alone. Respectfully. Yeah, like having a conversation. Yeah. And then it's just each waiter knows their different light system. So like if you walking around, whatever, and you see like, oh, they're orange. They don't need anything right now. They're That's like the do not bother me, whatever. And if like they're red, it's like... They need severe and they, help. And they should there. have like a timer on it that like if you're in like the do not disturb thing for too long, you're getting turned green. They can walk over now. It's time. Time sticking. No, like, but you everyone at the restaurant. No, no, like the waiter can always walk over. Yeah. If they need something. Yeah. It's just like if you want like refills or like something in specific, you like turn the light on. Yeah. yeah. Okay. I like that. I'd invest. Thank you. I like it. I just think it's kind of useless. It's not. Like I think at one light color and you could just tap it to be like, hey, I need you. Because that way you can uh, you can just use your words once yeah, you but, get there. Yeah, but but say like it'd be good if everyone was listen, deaf. Listen, say it's a um, say it's a what's it called? <laughs> say no, say it's a um <laughs> date, right? And both person people got water and they put the refill one on. Then the waitress can just be like, oh, like they don't have to go all the way over there. They can see from far away. I oh, lights blue. I'll get them refills. Boom, water. Didn't even have to ask them if they want refills. It's it's like a thing. Less less human contact right. as well. Less having to speak to people. It's just like, get your job done. I'm going to sit here. This is my last one. That's it. Go ahead. It's also my favorite. I thought it was super creative and fun. Came up with that completely by myself again. Not stealing anybody's ideas. No, no, no. Never. Never. Um, A thermostat that reacts to, oh, it's cold in here. Or I'm hot. And like, I mean, you oh. walk in, and it's like, if someone's like, it's so hot in here, like different descriptive words, like, so like, if you say, oh, it's so lowers like three degrees, three degrees, it'd be like, oh, it's kinda, kinda would be like a two degree difference or a one degree difference. Be like, um, it's is, warm. or is anyone else? <laughs> so what if I walk in somewhere and I say, I'm burning alive, <laughs> and they immediately shoot <laughs> ice okay. out of the walls. But it's a thermostat that reacts to just like crowd topic. Like if someone walks in there, is it is it just me or is it a little hot in here? And if like it's they hear like they hear like enough people agree like Come clamoring of like, oh yeah 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 yeah. You're like you're right. Yes, I'm hot too. Cold air. I like it. I like, like a it. thermostat that's just fully like it's like Alexa. Like hey Alexa. Like you don't have to be like, hey Alexa. It's just more of just like third thing is like, kinda. Yeah. And also, like, the mm-hmm. amount of times you say it. This like, makes me think of, like, all the different gadgets and gizmos I created as a kid. Like, gadgets and gizmos. When I was a younger it. kid, I just wanted stuff so bad to just work, like, in, like, little, like, niche ways. Like, I remember taping, like, a string to my light switch and, like, pulling it from down the stairs. And You're like, sick. Shut it off. Lots of lots of I kids wanted something like that. I lots of creative. kids yeah. wanted something like that. That'd be a good invention because I feel like people would want it for Christmas. Yep. What the light shoes like a clap lamp? Yeah, you don't have enough of those. I wanna imagine if all your lamps were clap lamps though. Then it would be a little tricky. It'd be super embarrassing if you like tripped and fell, and it thought you clapped, (laughs) and then you're in the dark. (laughs) Maybe it's good though because no one sees you. (laughs) Yeah, like the second you hit the ground, you're like ah, it's like dark, dark, like pitch black. That'd be fucking hilarious, in my opinion. I think that we should start having um, come on, what was it? Um, oh, this is what it was. I think that there should be just simply helpers on DoorDash or like whatever it is. So like say someone orders something and you get the – how often do you get like the wrong thing or you're missing something on DoorDash? Quite frequently. I think someone's job on DoorDash, instead of getting like a like a rate of like, oh, $5 tip and like a $2 commission every single drive, it's just they get a simple flat rate of like 15 bucks an hour or like 20 bucks an hour and all they do is help the fucked up orders. So say I order like three cheeseburgers and then uh, one people just got to pay attention. That's all I got. Yeah. 
I think it'd be even more beneficial instead and what would completely avoid your issue instead is if you could do like voicemails or like voice memo ordering, not voice memo, not voice memo, but like video like instructions. Like if you place an order and be like, you could be like, Hey, what's up DoorDash driver? It's me. This is my house. It'd be like, so when you get here, it's a little complicated. You got to go straight down the street. And then it's like the the one right here. I have like this goofy, like red light. Like by the I thought you meant ordering. Like, Like you could say, Hey, like I want mine a light crisp today no mayo and no pickles please 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 no pickles i hate pickles because that would be helpful for the restaurant yeah like if you place a doordash order i'd love to like film a video for the person making the food and the restaurant preparing the food and then film one to help my doordash driver find it because sometimes i feel so bad for the doordash driver because i'm like oh i hope he doesn't think like like I don't care if they do it at like the wrong house and I have Nick's to walk the down the street. To invite the I'm Dash more driver just like to eat with them. Well, yes. yeah, like I'm I'm more worried about the DoorDash driver. I don't care if you bring it to the wrong house. I'll go walk down the street and get it. Right? It's more just like I feel bad if they think they're doing it wrong. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like video instructions that can 100 percent assure them. Like people who live in apartment buildings, that's so difficult. Like they like sometimes they'll try and try and find your exact address. They'll be like, oh, just leave it in the lobby. I like, think this that, is my girl Colette. She lives in the front desk. Another here. thing that we should introduce is like golden stars. Like everyone in this world should just walk around with a sheet of golden stars, like stickers. And if someone does something kind to you, you give them a golden star. And then you just see who has the golden star. And then if somebody does something mean, you rip it off. No, chest. no, you don't have to rip it off. You just be like, come on, work on that. I think it would make it a lot, a big, peaceful world. Come on, work on that. Yeah, like if my DoorDash driver... You're the king, I'm the king. Guys, keep the chat about Fortnite. Keep the chat related to Fortnite. Stop talking about how handsome I am. Keep the chat oh, your earrings super spun. All right, well, that's today's episode. I'm I had fun sleepy. I'm discussing our bed. business ideas. Well. I'm Matt, sleepy. I'm going to bed. I'm going to bed. Who do you think had the best business idea? I think I did. I'll give it to Nick. I, I like think the sure. popcorn I like was the good. Popcorn. The popcorn and I love the thermostat. That the one's thermostat it's so hot. It's a little here. questionable. It's immediately like doo doo doo, and it just starts to flow. It's a little iffy. Okay. You, well, Nick? thank you guys for watching. See you next. See you Monday. next time on the Cut the Camera podcast. Don't go too far. That was insane. Wow. I've got gadgets and gizmos galore.